If you're looking for the best portable hard drives, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD 1TB. I'll cut right to the chase. This is what I use as my traveling storage companion. The SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD does what it says on the tin. It's both water and dust resistant, I-55 rating and shockproof from up to 2 meters. It also has a handy hole for clipping it to your bag and comes ready to be used with both Mac and Windows, which many external hard drives don't. The quotes 550 slash S transfer speeds are somewhat ambitious though. I have hit up to 450 slash S but generally it averages about 300-350 slash S when I'm transferring images. That's still very fast, but not quite as fast as some of the competition. Moving on to the next at number two with Samsung Portable 1TB SSD T5. Samsung's top of the line portable SSD may come at a relatively high cost, but it's one of the most popular out there for a reason. It's an extremely reliable hard drive offers super fast transfer speeds, as most SSDs do, and is small enough to slip into your pocket at just 74 long. The Samsung Portable SSD T5 is also the fastest external hard drive I tested, regularly averaging up to 400 slash S when reading images and generally sticking above 350 slash S for write speed. If outright speed is your main criteria, this is the one for you. The number three position is held by WD My Passport 1TB SSD. There's no denying that the WD My Passport SSD is a beautiful looking beast, and the automatic backup software that comes with it is pretty handy too. However, considering it costs almost as much as the Samsung, I found the speed to be quite underwhelming. It's quoted as being 500 Fordham slash S read slash write speeds, but on testing, I was hitting somewhere in the region of 250 slash S write speeds and slightly faster read speeds when transferring my photos. That being said, that's still a lot faster than traditional HDD. Though if you want the best looking external hard drive but aren't too bothered by it being the fastest then this is a great option. Next at number 4 we have G Technology G Drive 1TBS SDR Series. This is one of the most durable designs around as far as external hard drives go. Offering I-67 water and dust resistance as well being drop tested from Threme and having 1,000 of crush resistance. This is for the clumsy photographer. The G Technology G Drive R series also boasts an impressive 560 slash S max transfer speed, although it's worth noting that I never got close to this figure in my test. I topped out at about 400 slash S, averaging closer to 300 Fordham slash S. Still, that's second only to the Samsung Portable SSD T5, which doesn't have the added durability of the G technology offering. For me, the speed difference between this and the Samsung isn't significant enough for me to ignore the durability benefits, especially since I'm prone to dropping things. The added inconvenience of having to reformat the drive for use with Windows was an annoyance though, although that will come as a blessing for you Mac users. The number 5 position is held by a data SD701 TB SSD. It might not have the brand, aim of other offerings, but the Adata SD700 SSD has plenty of advantages. Not only is it the cheapest SSD on this list, but it's also water and dust resistant up to an I-68 rating and fits in the palm of your hand. There are some compromises though. The maximum transfer rates are significantly down on the other SSDs here. 400 Fordham slash S and my results saw an average of between 200 250 slash S. The Adata SD700 also doesn't come in anything greater than 1TB. The number 6 position is dominated by Lassai Rugged Mini 1TB. Okay, let's take a break from the high-end SSD external hard drives and look at something a little more budget-friendly. Lassai are, are synonymous with reliable storage, and this offering comes in the form of an ultra-durable portable hard drive. It's not a solid-state drive, and thus the transfer speeds are a lot slower. I average around 9TB slash S. But if cost and durability are your major concerns, it's well worth looking at. They do offer this in SSD version, but it doesn't quite stack up to the competition above in that respect. The last Sci Rugged Mini is water, dust and shock resistant, and also comes with a free month of Adobe Creative Cloud. There have been some reports of dead drives being delivered, 
but my version was perfectly fine, and every last side drive I've had in the past has been reliable to the core. That being said, consider that a warning. Moving on to the next and number 7 with WD My Passport 1 TB. If you're shopping for a new external hard drive on a budget, then the WD My Passport must come into serious consideration. It's vastly cheaper than its SSD-enabled brother, and is actually the cheapest hard drive we're recommending here. WD don't cut cost on the drive itself though, so you don't have to worry about any reliability issued. That being said, there have to be compromises. Its plastic construction means that it won't stand up to any serious amounts of water, dust or impact. It's also pretty slow when it comes to transferring images, averaging around 9 tim slash s in my test. The cost simply cannot be ignored though. You can get a 4TB version for around $100. So if you're not planning on treating it harshly, it's an excellent choice. The number 8 position is held by G-Technology Armor ATD All-Terrain Drive 1TB. G-Technology bring us another contender for the best external hard drive for photographers with their rugged Armor ATD All-Terrain Drive. It offers I-54 rain and dust resistance as well as shock resistance and a 1000 old crush rating. Just like the last iRugged Mini, all this armor does bump the price up considerably and it ends up quite expensive for something that is an SSD drive. Still, for a traditional HDD it's pretty fast when it comes to transferring, giving me around 115 slash S on average when writing images. You can also get a 5TB version for all you photographers that just can't bring yourself to delete anything. Next at number 9, we have WD10TB My Book Desktop External Hard Drive. First up is the ever-reliable Western Digital Entry, and the desktop HDD that I personally use. Like all these desktop external hard drives, the WD My Book requires external power and, for all intents and purposes, is importable. It comes in an array of cost-effective options ranging from a modest 3TB all the way up to 12TB, and you can even get the dual drive version and go up to a monstrous 24TB. It's not a SSD, so the data transfer speed isn't exactly mind-blowing. Still, the 103 m slash SI average is far from a snail's pace, it also comes with WD Auto Backup Software. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by G Technology G Drive 10TB. If you want a little extra speed, the G Technology G Drive offers up to 250 m slash S thanks to its 7200 RPM hard drive. I didn't quite achieve that figure, but clocking in at around 165 m slash S, it was noticeably faster than the WD My Book. That extra speed comes at a price though. The G Drive is much more expensive than the WD My Book. The extra outlay gets you sleek and stylish aesthetics and some extra functionality, including dual Thunderbolt ports and daisy chaining for up to five additional devices. All things considered, the features are a bit overkill for photography itself, although if you want a centralized storage solution at home, you could do far worse than the G Drive. That's all for today. We upload product review videos every single day. so. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.